Hey guys, welcome back. As always, my name is Lazar, and today, my friends, we're off to fight Albert. You guys know Albert, Albert Hastic. And of course, I'm gonna give you all the raid mechanics that you need to know. Now, here's old Albert. When he flashes blue, you gotta hit him with a counter from the front. Especially if you're a support like Paladin. Like that. He flashes blue, go in front, hit him with your either Holy Sword or your W ability Executioner uh, Executioner Sword. Of course, this will depend on the class that you play. We're gonna go through all of the mechanics. There's a lot of mechanics because, you know, he's annoying like that. But there are only a few which really matter and can get you one shot. Now... See that? Flash is blue, I counter him really easy, my raid now is free to DPS and down. As a support you don't really need to deal a whole lot of damage, but that doesn't mean you should slack either, so do that, bear that one in mind. You wanna get MVP, dumb chap. Now when Albert spawns these balls either white or yellow, white or yellow, you will not pick up any balls unless Albert flashed a white or yellow color before the balls were spawned. In this case, Albert didn't flash anything, so therefore, we're not gonna be picking up any of the balls. When Albert picks up one of the party members, what you gotta do is hit Albert, like he picked up me now, hit Albert with your stagger abilities, or even a stagger grenade. You guys know stagger grenades, they're fantastic. Either whirlwind grenade or clay grenade, and you will release the doomed party member. If you don't, Albert will proceed to tenderize your party member before inflicting final damage. That's pretty much it for the base mechanics. Again, if he doesn't flash in a certain color, do not pick up any orb because it's a debuff. If by any chance uh, you simply picked up a wrongly colored orb because you didn't pay attention or it simply hit you, you can pick up the opposite color to reset. So for example, if by mistake I picked up yellow, I go take a white orb and uh, the debuff will be reset or cancelled out. Flash is blue. Hit him with a counter, nothing more easier, my friends. Let the DPS have fun. Let the DPS think they're carrying this. We know who's carrying this. Kappa. And of course, spam emojis. That is the best thing you could do in this fight. He didn't flash anything, so I'm not picking up any of the balls. I'm dodging them. If you're gonna be hit by two consecutive same color balls, like two yellow or two white, you're gonna get a small stun. Get hit by three, bigger stun. So don't pick up balls unless you actually need it. And even though this is kind of obvious, stay out of uh, AoEs, which can be a bit more difficult because as Albert has really short wind-ups before he does stuff. So do bear that one in mind. Now, when Albert goes up into the air like so, he gets new abilities and we need to pay even more attention. You see the whirlwinds? Oh no, whirlwinds of fire. They are red whirlwinds. All you gotta do for these is basically avoid them. Now don't worry, they're not gonna deal a truck of damage. You're not gonna get one shot. It's fine, but it's best to avoid them at all if possible. When he spawns blue tornadoes, ah, that's gonna be a bit of a problem. As you can see, Albert periodically spawns red orbs on the ground. What you gotta do is hit those orbs, they will transform into blue orbs and pick them up. If you pick up a blue orb, you're gonna be getting yourself insane damage mitigation for the next attack. It's not gonna be permanent, just for the next attack. So keep your eyes on the ground. See, red ball like this one, I hit it with my sword, it goes blue, I pick it up. Now I got damage mitigation, you see my blue glow around me. Got a counter on him, and now I'm gonna give my party immense shields, or I am the paladin. There you go. Go! Go like it's your birthday! Give him an aura as well. Now, when Albert does this reign of death mechanic, stay in the middle. After you see the flash, the big flash that will one-shot anybody that stays outside uh, from underneath Albert Hastic, all you gotta do is simply dodge out of there, and you will be fine. Goes up into the air, spits lava down, stay underneath him until he flashes. After he flashes, get out from underneath him and you should be fine. Now he flashed yellow, you saw that? That was a yellow flash and now is when I want to look for those white orbs. So he flashed yellow. I wanna get the white one! Got the white one! That means I am safe. I'm also gonna be destroying some of these orbs. Pick that up. And if you already pick up the correct color of the orb, leave some for your teammates. Okay, here comes the big spirit bomb. I got the correct debuff so I don't die. But as you saw there, I was the only one in my party which did pick up the correct debuff. Which is why we're doing a damn guide to the room with. My friends, it's simple. Come on, just pick up the inverted flash color of the orb. Do these guys even have reses anymore? Probably not. He flashed white! He flashed white! What does that mean, stream? What does that mean? Ah, yellow orb! Boom! And I'm safe now. And I can leave the other guys to pick up more yellow orbs. I am safe now. Unless I pick up a white one. 
in which case I'm no longer safe. If you pick up again, if you pick up two of the same color, you're gonna be getting yourself a small stun. Nothing you should do, buddy. Big spirit bomb, I'm safe because I got the right color. The other guy, not safe, not the right color. Blue tornadoes, blue tornadoes, that means stand near a blue tornado, eyes on the boss when he goes up into the air, so do you in that blue tornado, blue tornado is your friend, where's the boss, boss in the air, I'm going blue tornado, that allows me to avoid that big damage there, fantastic, fantastic, now you can't go in too early because you get this damage cooldown thing, so you're not gonna be able to hit it again, so careful when you time your tornado, don't worry about it, it's not too horrible, you can get the hang of it, it just requires you to have like a bit of a feeding. Essentially when you see him up into the air, wait one more second and jump into the blue tornado. Pray to God, pray. And well my friends, that is pretty much it. As always, my name is Malazar, thank you guys so much for watching, like, favorite, share and subscribe if you enjoyed the content, and if you got any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye, hope oh, and have fun with all I'll be.